Right, um, this is my Turnigy 9X. They're a great little unit. Um, I've done a few mods to it already. I've put the backlight kit in. And I've also um, done a bit of toning down through this, the speaker holes for the beeper. So it's just blooming annoying. Uh, anyway, what we're here to do today is first of all take it apart. It's um, six, six screws. If you can't work that out, look it up on YouTube. I'm not going to bother showing you how to do that. And then you've got to unplug this plug here off the other half and pull it apart. Um, standard, they take eight AA batteries that go into this original unit that actually goes in, into the back of the battery pack here. Um, what I'm going to do is convert it from 12 volt, which is your eight 1.5s, and just to give you an idea of the size difference, here's a AA, and these are the these are the puppies I'm putting in two 3.7 volt batteries. Um, these are lithium iron. They're safe. You can charge them down. They won't. You know they're pretty good. Pretty pretty bulletproof. You won't have the same problems that you do with the lipo batteries if you down uh, like these ones, like these ones here. Um, if you suck the power down on them too far, they can either short and explode when you go to charge them. Or they'll never charge back up again because the cells will, will, will die because they overheat. These things, you can drag them down to nothing and they'll always charge back up. Anyway, <coughs> so if anybody's done any research on these um, transmitters, um, there's some really good sites out there. They run on 12 volts, but the system itself actually runs perfectly well on 8. Um, so what we're going to try and do here is convert the system from a 12 volt system to an 8 volt system because anything over 8 will just be wasted in heat and you don't want these things heating up because all it does is shorten the life of all the electronics inside. Okay so, excuse me, this has, I've never seen this done before so if it doesn't work, hey, it doesn't work. But what I was thinking of doing, I had a lot of trouble trying to solder the cables that, that I was going to put on to this battery. Mainly because that's quite a big piece of material and it takes a lot of heat to heat it up to the temperature that the solder needs to melt to it. So what I'm going to do, or what I was thinking of doing, I was looking at the original case uh, battery holder that actually slips inside the back of this unit here um, and connects in through the back. What I was thinking of doing is actually cutting the ends off carefully, uh, this case at each end, and then find a way to secure the ends because it's pretty close to a match when you put the batteries up against the case like that. It actually fits quite well. So if we can do away with the rest of the case and actually just use the end plates as our mounting points, we don't have to worry about soldering anything to the batteries which is good if the batteries do fail, you can replace them, but uh, solder the components to these cables and we'll be good to go, I think. Anyway, I'm going to give it a go. It's never, I've never seen it before, so I'll give it a crack. The other thing I want to do is, hey, it's got a friggin' charge point in there for charging your, your unit. Um, unfortunately, it's got a diode in here soldered on the back side of this board. You can probably see it in the in the back there. Right there, there's a little diagram of the diode. Now, that's that's a circuit protection. The problem with this is if you plug it in, it's not going to do anything because it's protecting the rest of the system from, from the voltage. So, I'm going to cut those two wires off on this charger and I'm going to put them through the holes there in the side and feed them out through the back of the casing here and wire it into my, straight into my system so that I can use it to charge. So uh, that's got to be good, doesn't it? Um, yeah, so I'm going to give it a go. Uh, I'm not too sure if I'll do it all on video, but we'll see how we go. Okay, so we'll see how it goes. Cheers. <coughs> 